When you're on a plane, sitting in your little seat watching your little screen, have you ever thought about what's happening behind the cockpit door? Do you think the airlines that operate our flights are doing their best to look after us? I'm going to peek behind the little curtain and tell you what really goes on. Here are 10 of the best kept secrets that the airlines don't want you to know. Amazing! Number 10. Electronics You get on a plane and immediately start watching a video you've downloaded to your device. Then, as you're about to take off, the crew tells you that you have to turn it off. You're not using Wi-Fi or mobile data. Surely there's no problem. Surely you're not going to make the plane crash. Well, you're right, but don't call me Shirley. Turning off your electronic device makes no difference at all to the line between the pilot and air traffic control. Airlines prefer that you turn your devices off so that you can pay attention to the safety messages. But that's it. In fact, data shows that over half of all mobiles are actually left on during takeoff and landing. People either ignore the crew's order, naughty naughty, or they just put it in their bag and forget about it. Number 9. Sneaky Airline Business Tactics Flying millions of people around the world is big business, and airlines do everything they can to maximize their profits, often at our expense. That bit when they come around with the Sky Mall trolley filled with spirits and perfume? Do you think you're getting a bargain because you're in the sky, away from a country's taxes? I'm sorry to say that you aren't. Everything on that trolley can be purchased on the internet at a cheaper price. Also, this one's rather sneaky. Since airlines have to pay fines when their flights run late, they are known to tell us that a flight will actually take longer than it should. That gives them a window of opportunity should anything cause them to run slightly late. A flight from London to Edinburgh normally takes 75 minutes, but the airlines tell us it'll take 85, just in case. All right, let's do one last one. It's a vicious circle. The more fuel a plane carries, the heavier the plane will be, so it burns more fuel, costing the airline money. To combat this, Airlines often put pressure on pilots to carry as little fuel as possible. This sometimes leads to trouble if the pilot burns fuel trying to avoid thunderstorms or is delayed by air traffic control. They might even have to land at an alternative airport so they don't totally run out. Number 8. Pets Some people like to take their pets on holiday, so they load them into little cages and they go on the plane in the luggage hold. Airlines do their best to take care of pets, but unfortunately for the poor animals, it's not much fun down there. Airports are extremely loud places, and while they're being loaded onto the plane, the pets are subjected to very loud noise. Airport staff, like refuelers, have to wear ear protection when they're down there. Pets don't get that chance. Our advice is, don't take your pets on a plane unless you really, really have to. While we're down in the luggage hold, let's see what else is down there. According to baggage handlers, the majority of domestic flights in the U.S. are carrying human organs on their way to the hospital. There are coffins down there, too. Number 7. Pilot's Food In the classic comedy film Airplane, when everyone, including the pilots, who have eaten the fish get sick from food poisoning, chaos and hilarity ensues. To avoid this happening in real life, the pilot and co-pilot have to eat different meals, and they're not allowed to share. Number 6. The Truth About the Oxygen Masks During the safety briefing, assuming you've turned off your electronic device, you'll hear that in an emergency, oxygen masks will drop down. These lovely yellow masks will help you breathe normally at high altitude until cabin pressure is restored. What the airlines don't tell you is that there is only 15 minutes worth of oxygen in those masks. Don't worry too much, though. 15 minutes should be more than enough for the pilot to get the plane to a lower altitude, where the air is breathable. What you need to remember is that from the time the mask drop down, you've got between 15 and 20 seconds to put it on before you pass out. If you have kids, put yours on first before you do theirs. Number 5. Happy Landings Ever wondered why, if your plane is landing at night, they dim the lights in the cabin when you're about to land? That's because if the landing goes wrong and they need to evacuate the plane, your eyes are already adjusted to the darkness. You'll be able to see better when you leave the plane instead of blinking and rubbing your eyes. Pilots used to handle landings, but on today's modern planes, the autopilot often does it. Modern airports like London Heathrow have an auto land system which communicates with the plane's autopilot and totally automates the landing system. This is used in adverse weather such as fog where planes struggle to land. Number 4. Pilot Power 
When you're on land, you're subject to the laws laid down by your democratically elected leaders, hopefully. But once those plane doors are shut, you're in the pilot's world. He or she is in charge, and the captain of the plane can arrest people, issue fines, and even take the will of a dying passenger. Don't mess with them. Number three, the bathrooms. Okay, now on to some very unsavory business. Whatever you do, do not drink the water in the bathrooms. It's filthy. The airlines regularly clean the water tank with sanitizing products. Unfortunately, the parasites that call this tank home build up resistance to the chemicals, so they stay there. While we're on the subject of plain bathrooms, bear in mind that they can unlock from the outside. There's usually a catch under the no smoking sign that can open the door in an emergency. Finally on this subject, you may wonder why, years after they banned smoking on planes, there's always an ashtray in the bathroom. This is because there are always some naughty passengers who will sneak into the bathroom for a smoke. The airlines prefer that if they must do it, they stub their cigarettes out in the ashtray rather than put the butt in the trash bin, causing a risk of fire. Number 2. When Things Go Wrong Data shows that things go wrong on flights more than we think. At London Heathrow, they get an emergency landing about once a week. Yet if you're a passenger, you may never even know it's happening. Communication between the cockpit and cattle class is strictly on a need-to-know basis. Pilots are very conscious about causing panic and hysteria amongst their passengers. If the worst happens and they need to evacuate the plane, they want everyone thinking as straight as possible. That said, most pilots don't mind a tricky landing. It gives them a chance to show off their skills a bit. When surveyed, many pilots said that their favorite airports to land were Gibraltar, Naples, and Madeira, commonly considered the hardest landings in Europe often requiring special training before pilots can land there. So next time you're getting off a plane and you see the pilot, compliment their landing. You'll make their day. Number 1. Sleep Pilots' working rules state that they can be on duty for anything up to 16 hours at a time. That's a long time, much longer than a truck driver, for example, is allowed to drive in one sitting. As a result, it's not uncommon for a pilot to have a quick nap while flying the plane. Research in 2013 showed that over half of pilots had fallen asleep at the controls. Hooray for autopilots, that's all I can say. However, on longer flights, pilots are actually required to have a sleep. There will be a relief crew on board and they will operate the flight while the original crew rests. That ends our top 10 best kept secrets airlines don't want you to know about. Which secrets are the most astonishing to you? Leave us a comment to let us know. Thanks for watching.